sweetie, Nana Tazzy here, and it is time. Time for what? Well, I have gathered all my bits and bobs and scrappy pieces that I'm going to turn into something or use as collage or whatever. The problem is, I have all of this tucked away in corners everywhere and this box is just from I don't know this week last two weeks um, this one I found stuffed in the bottom of a tote box I've gone through the whole room and got just about everything that I need for this challenge what is the challenge good question if you remember a while back, I made this journal. I called it Big Blue, obviously, because it's big blue and shiny. Oh. Anywho, um, I made Big Blue with a specific idea in mind. Big Blue is going to hold all of this scrap. All of it. I have instilled myself a challenge that I am calling, and I shit you not, the No Peeking Scrap User Upper Smash Your Stash Scrap Happy Challenge. Now, this is just a challenge I've set for myself. If you want to play along and do your own videos and whatever, that would be so much fun, and we should totally do that. But, there are rules, at least rules I'm giving myself. The rules are, once you've gathered all of your scraps, and I mean, just there's yarn in here, just off-cut ribbon, there's, you know, bits that are probably could have been thrown away, but I thought I'd keep and use for something. Once you've gathered all your scraps, you need to put them all in a bag or a box that you cannot see. When, when you grab stuff out, you have to be able to not see. And whatever you grab out, you have to use immediately. We're not grabbing a whole bunch and then using. Each piece you pull out, one at a time, you have to use it right then. And I'll go through all this again. The idea came from... Well, I, the, the idea for me came from watching everybody do the junk your stuff or... Um, um, you know, you use your stash, that kind of stuff, or the scrap happy stuff, which I love. My problem was, a lot of the stuff that I was seeing was really, really pretty stuff. It, it wasn't, you know, just leftover scraps. It, it wasn't the scraps part. It was still, you know, pretty flowers or, um... I don't, it's still stuff that, that would make a decent piece. Hang on a second. Put this over here. I am going to cheat probably. And I have some leftover artwork that didn't find a home anywhere. So it may just go in the front here. Maybe. That one can go in the over. Okay. Okay. So... What we're going to do, in no particular order, and I'll, I'll show you the stuff as I throw it in my bag here. After watching all these videos of people junking their stuff or using the scraps or whatever, I remembered um, from years and years and years ago a knitting pattern I had come across, and it was the scrap user upper get the scrap user upper up again. Let's see what goes right here. There we go. Um, the whole point was to take all of your random leftover balls of yarn and, and whatever threads you had, um, no, no matter what it was made of, you know, you, you didn't separate your acrylics from your wool or your blends or whatever. Whatever your, your small leftover balls of yarn that we all keep, if you knit or crochet, you know what I'm talking about. Um, but you take all of those and you put it in a big trash bag and you're not allowed to peek. You start knitting. Um, I'm currently doing one with a crochet blanket. Hang on a second, I'll get it. Okay. Chuck all your scraps 
whatever you've got leftovers you're trying to use up or get rid of, put in a bag. Now this one, I'm just doing a random um, granny square, giant granny square blanket. But whatever yarn I pull out next, when I run out of a bowl, whatever yarn I pull out next is the one I, I work with, right? So we've got colors like these I'd probably use somewhat together. Possibly not that one. And then all of those with these, I don't know I would normally <laughs> use those um, either. But that's not the point. The point is to use up all of this yarn and make something out of it. Alright. Hang on. Alrighty. So we're going to take that idea but apply it to an art journal. I think I just want to aim for backgrounds. I don't know. We'll have to see how it goes. But um, I don't have a limit on how many pieces I want to use at a time. Just whatever I pull out, I'm trying to get it all down in no particular order, which means I want to mix and match some of what's going on in here. And I'll show you. Hang on, that's all little stuff, I think. I have leftover painty paper. Um, they weren't even actually painty papers. I didn't get that far with them, but they're just splash papers. I've got um, scrapbook papers I never put away or just collected in a corner. Well, that I might need for a junk journal. No, let's chuck it in here as well. That was um, an acrylic pour I did the other day on um, an envelope, but when I was trimming the edge, I cut the, um, the envelope. Because, you know, I'm amazing at stuff like that. Which I could in as well. Um, I have leftover bits of inky napkin. I've got messy maps. I've got painty papers that I haven't finished. Um, and this isn't all of my, you know, I, I have the nicer stuff set aside for actual projects. But we want to make sure that we get these all mixed throughout. So, let's make a big pile like so. I've got leftover Christmas card from several years ago that is falling apart now, but should do fine for what we're doing. Even wrote in it. <laughs> uh, envelope, book pages that have started gesso. Yeah, all sorts of scraps and scrapbook papers and um, acrylic pour dip stuff. Um, yeah, these are all mostly from this week. But we're going to spread these all out through our bag and then mix them all up. Oh! Yeah, let's, let's do this. You know what? I have... Sure, let's do that. Not sure why that was in the bottom, but it was. Look, one box down. Yay! I have a collection of very, very pretty papers, but it's all the last little bits. So... Oh, my speakers are going to hate me on this one. Normally I would keep this bag, but I'm throwing it out because the whole point is to downsize all of this stuff. But these are all, um, they've got threads through them. They've got, let's see, that one's got leaves and flowers pressed into it. Oh, this one, this one I loved, but I'm pretty much out. It's got, um, ah. Oh. I don't even know what they're supposed to be, but there's little, like, metal-looking plastic bits through there. I believe they're plastic. Like tinsel-type stuff, or, um, those icicle things that you put on the Christmas trees. But yeah, that's all woven throughout. Random stuff. Oh, this had the thicker one in there. Get rid of it. These, uh, that's a thin one. These ones were thick. I don't know what I was cutting out or making. Doesn't matter. It's going in the bag. 
put everything in the bag. But they, see, I'm, it's got like dried flowers and stuff pressed into it. They're amazing. Oh, and this is the last bit. I have it's a favorite one. Favorite, favorite paper. It was gifted to me. I've had it forever and ever and ever, and this is all I have left of it. But, look at these colors. It's got the gold through it. It's, it's like a really thick tissue paper. I don't even know. They're absolutely stunning. Very fancy papers. Okay, to this mix. Let's see. I've got thread. I've got... Oh, this is from the... If you get the Giant Rocher... Or, what is it? Ferrer Rocher chocolate. The hazelnut chocolate things. Which, by the way, I... I will almost do terrible favors for uh, these things. They're that good. But I saved the, um, the giant wrapper from it, the, the outside wrapper. Oh, yeah. Let's look at this. That'll be fun. Okay, it'll be fun for me. It may not be for yours. I apologize. A little butterfly. This was my very beginning. I started to get into doodling because I was so stressed out all the time. Um... So I started doodling and, and trying to learn how to do um, uh, the Zentangle stuff. And this is as far as I got before, I'm just going to throw those in randomly as we go. But this is as far as I got before I um, learned about art journaling. I didn't know that was a thing. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is a quote by Jake uh, Weedman, who I don't know if you know, he's the youngest record holder for penmanship or whatever the big uh, to do is. Um, he's absolutely amazing. He's on Facebook if you check him out. Um, the dude's amazing. His artwork is phenomenal. Um, but he says, I learned the power of being self taught. Each medium became my professor, trial and error was my curriculum, and struggle was my tuition. How freaking amazing is that? So, yeah, I'll stick that in there too, so I'll use it. Oh, I have stickers still. Nice. That one's cut out already. Some of these I didn't even get to. Huh. Don't know where I was going with that. Oh, those are those little monster candy things that come with the little information um, on um, animals. Uh, little educational bits on, on um, all sorts of endangered species and whatever. Airmail. Now I've got all sorts of stuff. Little houses. Little birds. This little dude, practicing doodling, this one was part of, oh I cut this out and used it in my first art journal, huh, forgot about that, that's some I cut out of um, a gardening magazine, don't know what I was going to do with those, but the glue job is terrible on them. Purchasing roses, which I didn't like. Ooh. Coffee mugs, leaves I haven't used. Oh, yeah. Um, I made scale netting uh, prints. I think that was from the, the stretchy plastic bag from was onions or oranges or something. Yeah, just whip some paint through there and it made this cool snake texture looking stuff. Anywho, you get the idea. Lots of scraps and junk. I don't know what that one is there. It's purple. Aw. Oh. Yeah, we can use these. Look. Yes, we can. That's cute. Got a bunch of those. I think I was using um, leftover paint. Oh, it's my little ballerina. 
Let me finish her. Yeah. Scrapbook paper. Squirrels and things. Wool. Alright, I'm not going to go through absolutely everything. We got napkins. We got scrapbook paper. Yep, okay. I'm going to tear some of the bigger pieces in half. Uh, coffee dyed paper. Magazine chunks. This was the Christmas card I made last year. And leftovers. Um, oh, yeah, yeah. Got a little chunks of ribbony trim stuff in here, some tissue paper, some. Well, this came from a box of chocolates, actually. But it's a textured packing. Um, it's not really plastic and it's not really paper. I don't know what it is at this point. It's an alloy. <laughs> um, but yeah, texture pieces, inky something. Dictionary pages, doilies. Oh, I have scraps of yarn in here that I used to use for painting. Heart shapes I've used as um, stencils before I had any stencils at all. Yeah, we're just going to um, do this. Dragonfly wings. Ooh, and a flower border edge from somewhere. Well, I came in a scrapbooking pack a very long time ago. Ah, oh, there's the top for the Ferrero Rocher. Actually, I'm going to keep that for something else. Okay. And that's for something else. All right, let's empty this one in here. Oh, I've got little sayings in here that I never wrote down anywhere. That's funny. Okay, this one. Oh, I got little not quite inches in the bottom here. Yay, two boxes down. Okay, if you could kick the person in the pants responsible for most of your trouble, you wouldn't sit for a month. I don't know who, uh, whose quote it is, but it's funny. Oh, yes, yes. This is a quote by Theodore Roosevelt. It says, let us rather run the risk of wearing out than rusting out. Amen. I'll keep that and put it in my journal. Okay. Oh, that one needs to go in a different thingy. Okay, so that's about the bulk of what we got going here. Um, there's some more of the stuff here. That was a doodle. Oh, I'd done, I'd used the, um, baby wipe and then I'd done a doodle on it just randomly but her face appeared like they often do that's pretty let's use that somewhere oh. of course I've cleaned up my desk so I could get this done and I can't reach any of my stuff because I use my desk long ways which is silly I think I want those we want the dot. Yes, we do. Okay, scrapbook papers. Um, again, I was saving just random. Oh, those are the mermaid ones with shimmer. Yay! And I don't know if you're going to be able to see them real well. Let's see. What else have I got in here? Oh yeah, more acrylic pours and dips and things. 
Let's see. Um, can be that one? I can be able to see that or not. You see? I don't know. I've left over paints and sprays and such. And inks. Okay. Do what you love. Love what you do. A little ink spray. Dipped card things. Well, that'll be fun. Oh, I don't know if you guys get these. Um, I get them at the health food store here. At the small one. I, I don't remember what it's called. Um, and they have all different... Um, variety, but they send it up like it's a postage thing, and on the inside there's a, a love letter type thing, um, and every single one of them is different. Okay, sure. Some of my unjelly prints in here. That never, well that was just a random I think I'd spilled on, on that at first and then just turned it into that. Got random doodles, some uh, baby wipes. Oh, those are pretty. I like those. Alright, hang on. Got some more baby wipes. This one is cool. Look at these. These are from the other day as well. This one's older. Okay. Craft paper. How did it? Oh! This was, um... This was what I was practicing lettering on before I did uh, the top of a cake. I did a, a giant chocolate H for uh, the top of a wedding cake uh, for friends of ours. Actually, that was, what, they got married the day before Halloween last year? That was the day before Halloween. It's coming up, their anniversary. I don't want to stack the deck so much as, um... I want to have plenty of variety throughout the book, you know? This is old stampy, wipe off your stamp bits. Ooh, I used that for a girl's wings I did in an art journal. And I love it! Actually, I'm going to set that aside for a junk journal. I think that would be a better, a much better use. Sure, why not? Uh, the front of a magazine. I don't know if I was going to do anything with it or not. I love nitpicks. Their yarn is gorgeous. Gorgeous. Gosh, I need to order some so I can make a giant duster that hangs about, like an oversized cardigan, that hangs probably to my knees. Got this one a bit, I think. Oh yeah. I haven't separated these or anything either. Okay, the rest of this I'm just going to throw in here. Not that one. I can use that still. And I can use that still. And they might go in the front. With the others, we'll see. Okay, this is more of the same. Just little scraps. I believe. Wait, what do you know? Here's something. Oh! Good lord. A friend of ours came over with his daughter and she always likes to do arts and crafts when she's here. So I gave her one of my little file folder, I don't know, little mini journal thing. Excuse me. Okay, you guys, sorry about that. The English daughter needed to know if her corset was finished. I had to put some finishing touches on it for her. Um, but she's made the bulk of it, and it's amazing. Okay, where were we? Collecting junk and stuff. Oh, yeah. Um, so, yeah, if you want to keep an eight-year-old busy, hand them a junk journal. 
couple glue sticks and a box of scraps just the little bitty ones all different scraps from your projects and stuff and look what she's made I'm gonna make sure look without any instruction or whatever I just handed her a box of stuff and said make a book and she has how cute is that let's see I don't think she got very far though there's another page Oh, and that one's stuck together. Come on. Oh yeah, we're gonna have to gonna have to do some fixing, I think. But how cute is that? Oh, that was her M for mommy page. So yeah, <laughs> she did a page for her mom. I think I'm going forwards and backwards at the same time. Anywho, um, actually, what I will do is keep some of those matching scraps for her to finish that. I think. That might be a good idea. There we go, that one's water. It's pretty. Yeah, she's so funny. Every time she comes over, she's like, oh, I want to do painting, and I want to do this, and let's make a book. And it's like, oh, I need to set up ahead of time before we do that stuff. Yeah, let's give her all those. And then some painty papers because they're fun. And these she loves. Okay. Alright, that will keep her entertained again. Okay. I believe it's just scrapbook scraps from here on out, mostly. Yes. I should just pick it up and dump it or not. Okay, but you get the idea. All the stuff you've been saving that you're going to do something with. Um, if you're not actually doing that, I'm going to keep that in a bag, I think. It's all um, for mosaic pieces. Well, they're too big to be inchies, but I don't think they're quite twenties. Okay, I'm going to keep those in their bags and those will go on whatever page. These are the little wooden pieces I started to collect. I was going to turn into a fence for my junk journal. Like do a little cottage and make a fence with the wire and all of that, and I gave up on it. I just didn't have the patience, so I may or may not get back to that, I don't know. Oh, these are mama birds, i got to keep those separate as well. Okay, let's get back to scraps and things. I have a chunk of fabric in here that came off my sleeve, off a shirt that I had. The way they rolled it was weird, it kept sitting funky, so I fixed it. Ooh, I have gauze in here too, medical gauze. Random. I have borders and edges and strips and just chunks of scrapbook pattern paper, whatever. Random stickers. Actually, those might go in the little girl's box there. I bet she could use those. Book pages. Oh yeah, we can use all of that. Okay. All right. I think we're about there. Let me do this. Hooray! Three bucks. Oh, three boxes cleared. Oh, ooh, there's a fresh tag in there and stuff else turning into tags. Nope. These two are going to be tags. Tissue box tops. That's right, I was collecting them in here so that I would eventually sit down and, um, that's junk journal stuff. 
That's junk journal stuff. So I sit down and stick papers to random tags and things. But have I done it? No. Am I going to? Not likely. So what do we do now? Now, you give all this a big mix through. Okay, I'm chucking that one. Alphabet stickers. I've got funky doilies that are half painted. We want some of the stuff from the bottom. Okay. So, you've collected all your junk, all your scraps. You've put them in a bag or box that you cannot see. When we grab this out, I'm going to shrink all this down. So, all I can do is just, just reach in here and, and grab without looking. Each piece you pull out. Now for me, I'm going to start with my big blue journal. I want to just fill all the pages that I can use as textured backgrounds, right? So I will just be slapping stuff randomly, not going to think about it, pull out one piece, use that piece. If you need to tear it up and use it, fine. But if you pull something out and you're not going to use it, throw it away. I'm trying to dwindle this pile down so it's not taking up space in my room. Okay? That's the rule. Yeah, I, most of these are gessoed very haphazardly so they're textury already. And honestly, I don't know if it's even going to work using this, but this was the whole experiment. This was a huge journal of wrapping papers. Um, yeah. Okay. I think we're going to call that an intro and leave it there. And since I do have so many pages, I think I'm going to... Um, you know, stick some of these. I might just cut them out and stick them on. I don't know. But I'm keeping this handy so we know what we're calling the dang thing. But this is my no peeking scrap user upper smash your stash scrap happy challenge. And if you want to play along, you guys, feel free. Hit me up. Let me know. Um, I don't know how often I'll be doing these videos. Uh, my plan is to do this intro one and this weekend do a, um, the, the first set so you can see what I'm doing. Um, and I'm hoping, hoping once a week to get to it just to get all of this down. After that I want to go back through and actually decorate the pages and turn them into junk journal pages. But the whole point of this exercise is to challenge myself to just grab a piece and use it. Not think about it, not grab a bunch and fiddle fart around for an hour going, oh, I don't know which way I want it and blah, blah, blah. I try not to do that too often, but sometimes it does happen. I, I prefer to be far more intuitive. But this will make me not even like lay it out and see. Just grab and go and really do it intuitively. But I really hope you play along. If you do, definitely let me know. Um, but yeah, that's the uh, big blue. <laughs> no peeking, scrap user up, a smash your stash, scrap happy challenge. And I hope you, you join in and play along. I'm really excited to see how this goes. It's one heck of an experiment, I think. But it seems like a really good idea to me. I'm really excited about it. But if you haven't already, please hit like, subscribe, ring my bell. Um, big shout out and loves to my tip jar angels. You guys rock. I have big plans, big plans on your behalf. Um, yeah, and I will see you in the first video on how to make this go. All right, you guys, if you have any questions, please hit me up in the comments below because this might only make sense in my brain. <laughs> I don't know. Um, but yeah, hit me up in the comments below. All right, you guys, have a great day. Love you. Bye-bye.